Hi guys, this is an update on the high speed camera project. Uh, I've got it all mounted on a decent board now so you can actually aim the thing. Uh, there's a decent lens mount. Um, the sensor board is now trimmable to move to uh, set it so it focuses properly. It's perpendicular to the lens. Um, got a nice wide f1.7 lens on it. This is using a part out of an old uh, Minolta SLR camera. You can put in, you put Minolta lenses on it. Um, let's try. It's capable of recording now uh, through a command line interface, though. So let's try uh, recording something. Okay, let's try recording a balloon popping. Let's see if I can uh, start the recording at the right time because it only can this can record only for about uh, one third of a second. Okay. That is set. Okay, let's see if we got it. Ah, nice, it worked. Now let's see if we can play back uh, more slowly and see it actually popping. Hmm, could do a little bit more frame rate there. I think we're running about 2,000 frames per second here. But it's not too bad. I also recently got a uh, hardware bilinear scalar working. Uh, if we can, we can just go zoom, zoom in two times, no offset, and uh, not nearest neighbor um, bilinear. If we set that, there we are. There's no CPU intervention at all except setting the registers. The hardware does all of the uh, processing for the zoom. And I've released this uh, video scaler core on open cores, and I'll put a link in the video description if anyone uh, wants to look at it or use it. I was originally thinking of putting all the uh, the CPU and the Ethernet controller and everything in the FPGA, but that's taking up a lot of space. It makes the FPGA very very expensive. So I'm now thinking of using one of these uh, TI ARM system on chip. Uh, video processing systems to do the basic control of the camera. This offers um, all the things like, uh, what does it have? It has gigabit ethernet, uh, SD card, USB, all on chip. I believe they have open source Linux drivers as well, which would cut down a lot of the effort in uh, actually getting this working. And I think it also has a uh, hardware accelerated video encoding in H.264. So if, they, if you can save to H.264 right in the camera, that would be very nice, as opposed to having to save uh, multi-gigabyte uncompressed raw files. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get a dev board for this system on chip in. That would definitely speed up development compared to having to write all those drivers and get the hardware working myself on the FPGA. Anyway, thanks for watching.